Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 56. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. Do you know, funny thing, I've never played Duke Nukem, or Nuke Dukem, whatever, whatever the game is. I think I probably should. Oh! Very nice. By the way, the uh, amount of views that we've gotten so far, actually quite a good number. So uh, thank you everyone for uh, joining in the stream. It's been quite an eventful stream so far. Been some, uh... I've been enjoying it, so I'm pretty pretty happy with it. Obviously, if you guys are enjoying the video or enjoying the stream, feel free to drop a like, as it does really help. Whoop, whoop. Oh, uh, what are you doing, Ferrari? Ferrari. Bam, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, bam, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam. Bum, 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 Text message, I don't know the number. Yeah, I'm actually quite enjoying Road America a little bit more in this game, as opposed to Motorsport 3, 2, and 1. Motorsport 1 was an absolute ball, like, hated Road America in that. In 3, it was challenging. This is a lot more enjoyable. I think there's improvements on the handling model that actually makes driving in this game a lot more fun, as opposed to just... Thank you. 
There you go, coming up on two laps now. Two laps done. Hines, what is the madman doing? Oh, it's not worked. Um, um, it's Herbie. I've just seen you be real. Uh, I assume you've seen my uh, my my comment. Be real, obviously. I didn't even know you played Forza. Why didn't you tell me you played Forza? I could play a shit ton of Forza. I miss playing Forza back like... I don't play Forza, I just want to see if my car is in the game. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's it's not. Um, I don't think Skoda has been in Forza for a while now, actually. All because of like licensing issues. Corporate greed. I don't even know if Skoda's actually ever been in Forza now that you mention it. I want to say maybe Motorsport 7 had some Skodas, but they were like race car Skodas. Maybe Motorsport 6? I want to say one of the Motorsports had some Skoda cars. Oh no, they... The issue with Forza Horizon is the fact that the licensing that they get, they don't get the same licensing. So because it's an open world game and it's all about experiencing luxury cars, um, Forza Horizon, it really confuses me, but Horizon, they focus more on classics, beautiful, beauty, whatnot. So anything that's not either a classic car from like 60 plus years ago or worth 100k in real life very rarely will get added to Forza Horizon. I think it should be different. Because when you look at Gran Turismo 4 you look at Forzas and whatnot. Like Motorsport 4 is a great example. They had all sorts of like family hatchbacks family cars whatnot. Lower end but really quite enjoyable to drive cars. But obviously you can't experience them in an open world scenario. You can only experience them in, well, fucking this. Racetracks. <laughs> I was trying to think of the word and my brain was like, fuck. Shove VW everywhere. That's another thing that's really weird about VW. So. Uh, the VW Group owns a multitude of different car brands. So you have VW and Skoda are very much like the identical brands. Um, pretty much anything that's made as a VW is made as a Skoda, etc, etc. So they are identical brands almost. 
Oh gosh, pick up. Then you've got Audi, which is like their slightly higher up brand. Oh, I, that time I actually pressed that home button. Um, Audi is sort of a higher up brand, but they use a lot of the lower end parts. So, for example, the Audi A1 is basically just a VW Polo, but with Audi parts in it. Um, so they, they are fairly identical. But Audi also has a link to Lamborghini for their higher end cars. So uh, the Audi R8 is basically the Lamborghini Huracan. Um, obviously Lamborghini owned by Audi, which is owned by the VW Group. So technically owned by the VW Group, but Lamborghini is more run by Audi as opposed to... Um, What's it called? The other one. Uh, then you've got... What's the other brand? Porsche. Porsche is actually owned by the VW Group as well, I believe. Um, yeah. Damn. So there are quite a few cars that are actually owned by VW. VW has quite a significant monopoly. I'm not sure if BMW is owned by them. But I know BMW owns uh, Mini. So if you're driving a Mini Cooper, you're driving a BMW. Um, Toyota Supra Mark V is basically a BMW. I have no clue where that comes from. Uh, Lexus is a sub-brand of Toyota. There's a, there's a lot, a lot of sub-brands. Sub uh, the Cupra brand is owned by Seat. I don't know if Seat's also owned by the VW Group. It might be. Well, have a look. We'll Google it. All right, so this is quite interesting. So, Bugat, uh, no. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> so, Lamborghini own Ducati. The bike company so Lamborghini have ownership of that then they got bought out by Audi so Audi had ownership of that and then Audi got bought out by VW which then meant that VW ended up with ownership of Ducati Lamborghini and Audi all in one purchase then have uh, Bentley which is also owned by the Audi group uh, which similarly comes under the VW umbrella. Which subsequently includes Rolls-Royce as well. I believe. Rolls-Royce Motors... Yeah, so Rolls-Royce is on there as well. Uh, they own Porsche, the Porsche group, which apparently includes Bugatti in the Porsche group. Um, we also have Seat as well, uh, which the VW Group own, Spanish company. Uh, Scout Motors, which is actually a brand new one founded last year. Um, I have never seen that company before. Uh, Trayton, uh, which is basically VW's truck, truck and bus companies, which includes Man Trucks. No, I think that's a different Scout company. This one says it was uh, founded in 2022, so this, I believe, is a new one. Uh, Scania, which I believe is the Swedish one, truck company. Uh, that's also owned by the VW Group. Navistar, also owned by the VW Group. And then VW has their own Brazilian division as well, apparently, which it comes under the VW name. Uh, then you've got VW passenger cars, which is just anything branded VW, and then commercial vehicles again that are branded VW. Uh, on top of that, they have um, Italian design. Is that it? Ital design which is 90% owned by Lamborghini. 
and then it got bought out by the remainder got bought out by Volkswagen so it's technically under now Volkswagen Group uh, Bugatti Rimac which is a 45% ownership by Volkswagen Porsche Group and then uh, Rimac Group owns 55% of that Oh! Massive collision. Lovely jubbly. Ha! 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 No way! So, uh, VW owns one of the worst companies in the world as well. A company called Pay by Phone. <laughs> so, it's, it's basically like a car parking company. But you call up and you pay over the phone. Basically, like a majority of car parks in the UK use either number plate recognition now, and you have to do like type in your number plate, or when you park up, you have to phone a company to say, oh yeah, here's my bank details, and this is the car park I'm parked in. This is my reg number. May I park here? And then they'll charge your bank card. But you have to phone them up and it's an absolute fucking nightmare. And VW owned that company. That's absolutely hilarious. That's so funny. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. VW owns so much of the car. How the hell have they not been called up on... Uh been a monopoly yet. Like, they must own or, like, make 50% of the cars that are on the road today. How do they not get called up for being a monopoly? Like, you think Xbox has been called up for being a monopoly on the gaming industry for owning Activision? But that's nothing compared to what the car industry is at the moment. All owned by VW. That's absolutely insane. <laughs> <laughs> and act this thing is quick. Speedy man, Maji. I'm really hoping that either today or tomorrow I'm going to get my rocket punch sneak from the US. I have literally been waiting almost a month for this drink. But uh, it, got, it got held up at customs and Monopoly game, but not the buildings. Not with the buildings. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically just Monopoly game. I think that's actually quite cool. Imagine that. The first two spaces are like... I don't know. The last space would be like VW. Like one of the blue squares would be VW. 
Oh, that's such a good idea. Why don't we... Oh, I really want to do that now. That'd be cool. Imagine that. A game of Monopoly, but they're all about cars. And what brands are owned by who. That would be sick. I mean, the last thing that they acquired was in 2022, so technically speaking, they are still buying car brand. They're still going, yeah, let's get a car brand. Let's get this one, let's get that one. I will take that. I'll take that reward. Thank you. Give me the money. Give me the money. Give me the money. I can't believe that. I literally saw Sir Sir Michael Gam. Was it Gamble? Uh, have I butchered his name again? Wait. It said obviously. Uh, welcome to Bottom Gear, lads. I see it said like that, and I was like, I recognize that name. Oh, don't. And then I clicked on it, and he, yeah, he's passed away. No! Oh, shit. You obviously, when he was doing his lap on the uh, Top Gear test track. He pretty much just, like. Got a significant amount of airtime when he finished his lap. But he didn't pass away. Oh no, he did pass away. <laughs> oh, he's, he's no longer with us, lad. That was definitely quite a funny. Um, I, I think he's definitely what was one of the best star in a reason would be price cars. Only because of the fact. That he managed that and managed to get that much airtime coming off that corner. Great. Definitely sense. That's life for you, though. Play. I actually really like the life. I can't remember whether it was the Suzuki or the Kia that you did it with. I want to say it was the Suzuki. I think it might have been the Suzuki. Yeah, 100%. Alright, not bad. No one is field trip. Let's see how this thing is. 
This is actually the last race of this uh, championship, so... And then we can officially bin the art car. Get it in the bin. Get the fuck out of here. Work. Nah. I actually quite like this car. Like that. I definitely need to look again to the three. Fucking hungry. I'm starving, I want food. I don't even know what I'm gonna cook. Might cook up some chicken, chicken strips. Same as what I did yesterday. Nice and easy. Pizza, pizza, love, pizza, lemon squeezy, motherfucker. Whee! Car behind is 22 seconds behind. We're a second faster on that lap. Fuck! Back on the track. Thank you very much. And so officially, this lap is in the bin. Might look at seeing if I can get. Uh, a little bit more quality out of the video that I'm recording. So I'll probably set my, uh, what's it called? Bit rate up to 100k as opposed to 50k at the moment. Especially when I start recording 4k content, that's when the bit rate's going to have to go up significantly. Oh yeah, I don't think I've mentioned this, but uh, obviously the capture card that I have now, it has the capability to record in 4K. Um, so what I'm going to have to do, I'm obviously going to need to get a 4K monitor. But when it comes to... Obviously Motorsport 5 is 1080p. I believe that all the games up until... Horizon 3. I think Horizon 3 supports 4K. But then I'll be on PC, so... For that one. But I might be buying another uh, build specifically for just gaming off of. So this will become like an editing rig and then I'll have an actual gaming rig.
Hey, hey, hey. Not bad, I will take that result. Thank you very much. 30 grand as well. And level 69. Nice! What a way to end that video, huh? So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.